Every lay in hen will slightly prolapse as she lays. This is a physiological prolapse. Some of the vent tissues are pushed out with the egg and should be immediately pulled back inside as the egg falls away. This type of prolapse protects the egg from contamination as both eggs and faeces exit through the vent. During laying, the hen is at risk from other birds in close contact as they are attracted to the colour red and may peck at the prolapse tissues which cause injury. This is also called vent pecking. A prolapse that persists after an egg is laid is not normal and is described as a pathological prolapse. Such prolapses can vary in size but can be large and life-threatening. This is an emergency and the bird needs to be seen by a vet as soon as possible. The most common cause of a prolapse is reproductive disease, but prolapse from the digestive tract can occur with heavy parasite burdens or even with severe diarrhoea. During a pathological prolapse, a bird is at risk of pecking damage. Damage to the tissues from drying out, the bird may also be unable to pass faeces or lay eggs, and in the summer they're vulnerable to maggots as flies can lay eggs on exposed tissues. It's more common for a hen to prolapse while laying an oversized egg or if she's overweight. If the hen is living with other birds, it's vital that she's immediately removed to a safe environment to prevent pecking. The prolapse can be washed with sterile saline and a water-based lubricant applied to keep the tissues moist. If the prolapse is large, then you must take her to the vets immediately. For very small prolapses, you may choose to monitor these at home. Treat as already described by washing with sterile saline and applying a water-based lubricant and medical grade honey, which may be beneficial in reducing the swelling. It also has antibacterial and has antifungal properties. Often smaller prolapses resolve with no further treatment, but your vet should be consulted if the prolapse is large or damaged from pecking or persistent. It's not uncommon for a hen that has a prolapse to develop ventgleet or cloacitis. Separate from the flock if there is a risk of vent pecking. Carefully flush the vent with warm sterile saline to clean. Clean the feathers around the vent to remove any faeces. The skin below the vent can become sore. Apply a barrier cream to soothe and protect the skin. Give apple cider vinegar in the drinking water and probiotics to correct the bacterial and fungal imbalance inside the vent. If the vent leak does not resolve, take her to a vet.